guys, this is Svetlana and Bali Conrad. Um, today I actually will take you back uh, to my first, one of the first videos that we ever recorded. Um, that I, we actually I'm doing the three years, some warm-up tendu exercises. Um, you know, I, I will play it in my ears so I can hear exactly what I was saying. Uh, I will play some video for you so you will know exactly what I'm talking about. So anyway, um, here is the video of me standing. It's funny how I look actually, but whatever. Um, again, <laughs> trying to be happy for the camera, but not really that is what it is. I know. So here is a video where I'm trying to, like, I'm goofing around, going like very, very, very deeply, yeah, just because, you know, whatever, I'm trying to goof around, nothing else, really. Um, yes, Eric's trying to explain to me what, uh, again, uh, the plies I shouldn't be doing very, very difficult. Okay, here is a good one, you know, here is actually where, how I'm standing naturally. If you will see right here, let's put this out, kind of freeze frame this. Yeah. Let's freeze frame this one. So you will see exactly what I'm looking at. I will kind of, you, you will see it. If you notice, I'm actually standing in the diagonal. You know, I still have it sometimes. You actually, in the new, uh, in the new videos, you will see I have slightly still tendency to it, but it's not as bad. But if you look at it from the center, you see like how my left shoulder is completely in the diagonal to the left right off my hip you know so it, it just the whole body is shifted you know so again don't look at my cleavage but whatever it's there <laughs> and, and that wasn't intended for you guys you know but it's it's there um again uh here i'm trying to kind of uh, hold my legs together but it's not you can also see that my uh right hip is back all the way back it's in the diagonal this way and the left hip is front um and some of it some of the videos you can see actually you see this my legs are very very loose even so i'm trying to say that oh no they're not but actually they are very very loose look at this one you know barely pointing the feet all of the legs uh, again, even if in this tendu that Eric is doing right now, you can see how my whole body is shifted all to the left side. I have never actually felt it, honestly. Uh, every time when I would look at, but in, in general, in life, when I would look in the mirror, I have never noticed that I had this shift all the way out like that. So that's only from one angle. If, if I would be honest uh, completely, I, I feel like right now, right now like um uh, three years later of studying i actually only now can say that now i'm ready to really start to learn ballet as a you know correct way all the way because i feel way more stronger and prepared uh, because my body is more straight now more prepared for it more fit for that so yes it's i would say if, if we're talking about go all the way because people do ask me what I'm, what I'm, what actually we're trying to show with this method. What we're trying to show that you can take a person and uh, if they taught proper technique, they can actually go into professional. So that is my ultimate goal to go to the profession, to, to go to a point that I can perform on stage. If that's what you uh, you interested, that's what I'm telling you. Yes, I would like to go all the way. I really want to know the, my full potential and see how much I can push it. Uh, again, so far we're not talking about art or how to do it, how to you know, do artistic movements or anything like that. Only for now we're working on the machinery of actual my body, how to do it mechanically right. So yes, that's what we were doing right now. Um, but yes, I would like to know my potential and see if I will be capable of performing on stage because performance is slightly different than just training see if i can actually express the feelings with the training well that that's actually my ultimate goal to see but yes overall overall i am actually very very happy and pleased with um even for now i'm very pleased with the uh, progression and the 
let's just say quality of my movement i'm really pleased with that and um, i think i have never actually really expected that it will be this way um eric he always knew that he actually he was the only one who says that yes i know that i can transform you i know that i can do it um the other thing that i also i will do later at the podcast where i will talk about the diets and all that but if you want to know i don't diet i don't have any diet i mean i don't eat like crazy or just say go out and i don't know go nuts and just eat 12 pizzas you know like i don't do that but i i, I don't drink soda well i do sometimes you know when we go out but yes i don't I don't have a specific routine okay i need to eat this is this is this this is this is this you know like i don't have that uh and i don't specifically specifically it was not uh, for me it was never a goal that i need to lose weight because i don't do any kind of cardio exercises and ballet still is enough for me and um, all of the transformation that you see had happened gradually over the time um and so there was no diet in, involved in that and yes i went if you're talking about just weight i'll just briefly say it so my heaviest weight that i was when i was pregnant there's a picture of me i was 200 pounds after delivering with uh, misha i was 170. Um, i stayed in that weight for many years uh, and when i started to do classes with eric i was about well, maybe like 165. Uh, I have videos where I actually stand on the scale, so we have a record of it, how my what, what was my weight. Um, so yes, um, now I'm between like 115, 118. I'm holding in this area for now. But if you really want to know, I never, never the goal of losing weight was never my goal. You know, I only worked on the ballet technique through the placement with Eric and that's what you see so later on I will tell you more about that but for now I'm just giving you like a little brief of in this video I don't I actually don't want to do like the podcast where I'm talking too many uh, minutes and just want to like kind of learn how to do deliver my thought a little bit quicker so it will, but also will be interesting uh, so anyway uh, this is for now <laughs> I guess that's it for today. Uh, I will see you next time. Okay? Bye.